KXAN investigation uncovered a reason why over the last seven months so many unemployed Texans are having trouble getting help from the Texas Workforce Commission. A contractor hired to help clear jammed phone lines says the commission will not let him and other workers like him into the system to fix problems with claims. KXAN investigator Jody Barr brought his insight to the agency's ex executive director who claims he did not know this was happening. Uh, I've always asked, what can we do more? I get cussed out on a daily basis. This has kind of all been handled uh, very poorly. For the first time since March. All right, we're recording. Someone from inside the TWC is speaking out. This person asked that we conceal their identity so they don't lose their job over what they're about to tell you. I've had multiple people where they call and, and as soon as I say that I'm a contractor, they disconnect the call because they've heard it all before. They've been through this loop of contractor after contractor and it's pretty much the luck of the draw. Is it going to connect to a TWC agent or not when you dial the phone number? This person says they're one of those contracted call takers, a contractor with very little authority to help when someone calls to find out why they're not getting an unemployment check. Other than help with filing an initial claim, helping reset a PIN number, or an address change, this contractor says they're not able to get into someone's account to fix problems. Uh, yeah, I have no power to do so. Anything regarding an existing claim, we are very limited in that information that we can even provide to the caller. You can't get into that personal protected information when someone calls you so that you can then go in and fix whatever's wrong with their unemployment? Correct. We don't even see it displayed. That means the contractor would transfer the call to a TWC agent. Both are supposed to be able to do the same job. The TWC has 430 agents. When the pandemic hit, the agency hired another 1,600 contract workers to help handle claims and calls. But about a month ago, the contractor told us the TWC began penalizing contractors who transferred calls to TWC agents instead of handling those calls themselves. The contractor's solution, they'd simply tell callers to keep calling back until they get an agent on the phone. When I tell them that they have to call back, I am pretty much just sending them to get their benefits possibly turned off. Should that be happening? No. There aren't contractors in the system who are answering calls that don't have the ability to edit a claim. No, sir, there are not. And everybody, TBC employees and contractors who can, who, who take calls, have that authority. Nobody has inquiry only. The agency set aside more than $26.4 million to pay those contractors. We told TWC Executive Director Ed Cerna about what this contractor told us. This is unacceptable. So I know that we don't want them handing them off. Um, and I know what I've been told, and I'll, I'll validate it, and I appreciate you bringing it to my attention, but what I've been told by our staff is all 2,000 of those call center operators, ours or, or contractors, um, have the same capability. My name is Jeremy Buchanan from Plano, Texas. Dozens of people we've heard from all across Texas. This is Monique Lampkin from Fort Bend County, Texas. Each had stories of spending hours on hold only to end up with a TWC contractor who could not or would not help. The idea is that when you call, you get the help, and if you're a contractor and you don't know, then we'll get you more training or, quite frankly, we'll replace you and get, get somebody that can get the job done. The contractor we interviewed showed us evidence they started with the TWC in June, and these problems with some of the contractors have plagued unemployed Texans from the beginning. So, like, they can't just say that uh, they, they don't know or anything, and at this point, it is just, it, it's kind of on them. I mean, they, they know about these issues, and... Uh, they have not been corrected yet. That's very, that, it, one, it's disappointing, but two, it's, it's frustrating to me, and I can only imagine how frustrating it is to our customers who get in, you know, they, they, they've had the phone answered, and they're not helped, or they're handed off to somebody else. Now I have to find whatever that problem is and fix it so we can actually serve our customers better. It definitely takes its toll just because, yeah, I, I, some of these people are really hurting, and I, I know I can't help, and that's for the very few, like you said, you know, the one-fourth of people I can help, help. that's the reason uh, I continue to do this, because at least I can help.
somebody. The TWC director told me he's investigating to make sure every contractor who answers a call provides the help needed. As for audits, the director told me the agency can see when someone calls in, who picks up the call, and how long the call lasted. The TWC can listen in from time to time, but there's no way to know when a contractor is not helping. The best way to let the TWC know when this happens is to report those instances. You can find out how to report that on our website, kxan.com. Look for our Workforce Complaints Investigative Series.